Hi, this is a layout which is completed. I want to export few information into DXF file. So DXF is 2D file. That means only length, width can be measured and text and lines can be included. So just on which information you want to export as a DXF file and just click on display. Just off all the information, just select only information you want to export. Board geometry outline. Packet geometry assembly and silk skin top. Reference designation, silk skin top and bottom. These are the only information I want to export. Go to File, Export, DXF, give a name. DXF underscore test one. Here you can select output unit, mills, metric, or mm inches. Here you have to select the layers. So you can see that which layers I have turned on here, only those layers are, you can see here. If I will turn on all the layers, so you, you will see all the layers here as a class and subclass. So it will be hard to select required layers. So it is better to use only layers which you need to export into DX file. Just select all and use layer names gener generated from class and subclass. Just use map option. So our DXF file will be having these kind of these all the information and layers. Outline assembly bottom, assembly top, top and bottom, silk skin bottom and silk, silk skin top. So just click OK. Now your file is ready to export. Few more options are there. Export symbol as block. So here pad will be not there. Outline will be not there. Only blocks will be there. I'll show later how it would be look like. So I'm just exporting. You can see the name. Just export. Close. I have an online viewer. DXF viewer. Just selecting DXF text. It will take few seconds. And after that, you can see here. It is exported. You can see all the layers are exported in different colors are showing different layers. Now, I want to export and want to use export pad stack field. So I'm going to use five mils field solid. There is no solid copper pair, but still I'm going to use five. So let's see how does it look like. TXF test two. Okay, just I'm going to export here. Again, just map it. Click OK. Export. You can see the DXF test two. Again, import it. Just select DXF text two, test two. Here you can see that the pad is included since I have selected field pad. If there was copper, so copper was also there. And for copper, you had to select fill solid shapes and rectangles. So this is how you can export or import export your DXF file. Now I want to export import these DXF into my layout file new board I'm going to give the xf paste 
I think. Yeah. Now, just click File, Import, DXF, select the file, test one. Okay. Already selected. Here you can see that pin is not available. I don't know what is the reason. I think here pin option top pin is there or not. Is the reason because here pin option is not there in class. Add which top bottom here artist assembly. So I can use package geometry silk skin top silk skin bottom. Or the silk skin top, so package geometry. I want to add into package geometry silk skin top here. Are the silk skin bottom package geometry? I think silk skin bottom. So you can see the all the layers are available here. Just click OK and just import it. Here you can see that all different layers are imported. So this is how you can import the DXF file into your layout. Now it should look better. So different colors are showing different layers. So all the information have been imported into our layout. So this is all about DXF import and export.